Vistaphone, in view of your long public career, covering over a half a century, we'd like to get a statement from you. Some human interest anecdotes. Well, in my early youth, I was considered a toy, just a plaything. It took some mighty part of my people enough money to get me... But that's an old story. Your twins to step out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, meet my radio twins, Mike and I can't say I resemble you any. Very few of my family do. But we all have something in common. Come here, Mike. He inherits my transmitter. Let me show you by comparison. I got my start during the war in Bell Telephone Laboratories. Show. And I've been busy ever Show. since, broadcasting every imaginable kind of information and information. Speaky and I work together, mouth to ear. Check and double check. Tell them out yourselves, Speaky. Pardon me, Dad. I'm just a great big receiver, especially developed to handle amplified sound. You see? Folks, if you'll step around to the stadium with me, I'll let you see another member of the family in action. This is the way it used to be a few years ago when almost any orator tried to address big crowds. What's he talking about? I can't hear. But my son, public address system, has done away with all that particular kind of annoyance. His specialty is making the multitudes hear. Come on out, public address, and do your stuff. Public address system is another development of my transmitter and receiver kept up by the application of amplifying power to give the sound wave several million times the volume I'm capable of carrying. All ready, PA? Now, folks, you'll hear that talk the way you wanted to hear it. Now, let me repeat. We stand for honest administration of the laws and a square deal for all. <laughs> Another member of my family has medical associations. No medical college in the country is considered complete these days without this professional member of my family, electrical stethoscope. Stethy has a remarkable capacity for amplification and an ability to emphasize only those sounds to which his medical users desire to listen. He has already quite revolutionized the oral study of the heart, lungs, and other internal organs of the human body. For instance, just a few years ago, this was normal practice with the stethoscope. Only one doctor or student could listen at a time. So a heart or lung clinic was frequently a severe strain on the patient. In addition, the old-fashioned stethoscope lacked the power of amplifying sound. And as a result, low-pitched heart murmurs and other faint but significant chest noises could be detected only after a series of the most exhaustive examinations, if at all. 
electrical stethoscope has changed all this for the better. A whole room full of students or consultants can now listen to the same heart or body sounds at the same time, thus receiving a simultaneously accurate record of all sounds, whether of high or low frequency, without undue fatigue to the patient. So this member of the telephone family is playing an important part in extending the bounds of medical diagnosis. Hello, Dan. Why, hello, Talky. Glad we ran into you. Meet these ladies and gentlemen. They represent the press. It's a great pleasure. This is the youngest member of the family but in many respects the most active. <clears throat> uh, that is, next to myself. His full name is Talking Motion Picture. Any hot news from Hollywood? All the sound studios have cooling systems now. You seem in a hurry, Talky. What's doing? I'm wiring a new theater down the street. Uh, there, where that crowd is. Why don't you all come down with me and catch the first show, Dan? Thanks, that'll be fine. We will. We will. He calls Mr. Phone Dad, but I can't see just where he fits into the telephone family. Nevertheless, I am a direct descendant. Sound films are recorded in the studio by the condenser microphone, which is a development of the telephone transmitter, and are reproduced here in the theater through these loudspeaker horns, which are really powerful telephone receivers. Ah, oh, yes, I do get the connection. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Talkie, we're in Dutch. The messenger with our film is in a taxi smash up and can't get here in time. That crowd out there will scalp me. Anything to oblige. Ready? In sync. Oh, you little telephone, you're a perfect ear. We would give the world to know half the things you hear. When the boss needs something quick, on you we depend. And but for you, what would we do? You're more than just a friend. We love your welcome call. You've made